Okay, good morning. It is Friday. I uh, just brought my pickup truck down. Everything's in here. Getting the color lined up. We're using sandstone today. So get it all lined up. I always get a little bit extra and we leave that in the truck. We don't put it with our supply that's going in the truck. In the mixer. So we're getting our step liner in place. The guys are getting traction mats out. It's about 6.30. I'm just talking a little bit quiet. So we're going to bring a couple buggies up here. Throw some stone in. And get ready. So we might do these steps later in the year or next year. Won't that be a fun project, huh? They look nice. You can just see they're starting to come loose. So they're going to make a repair on these. And if it lasts, they'll keep them. If it doesn't last, we come back and we'll match what we do here. Okay, there's the last ties. Hey, Jim. Yeah. I need one, two more two-footers cut. It's poor. Okay, underway. Yep, getting his rods up. Got a lot of rods in that little pad. They can go towards the wall, Matt, if you can't get that up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, another buggy coming in, holding plastic. N not even any room for a camera up there, let alone me. So, just holding everything. Just in the jungle here. We'll get spread out here in a minute. There you go, making its way down the steps. It is chaos. Controlled chaos. Sort of. Okay, as soon as it gets one... Can you get these in yet, Matt? Will they stay in? Maybe a little bit more concrete here and we'll put these in the holes. Right, here's one here. And then uh, Steve's coming in the bottom here. I'm going to shovel it up. Uh, and then there's another hole right there. Can you get it in there? There you go. Now we're good. All right. Come on right in here. Dump me right here. You all right? Look at those tracks. That's the way to go. Until one comes off. Good, right there. Perfect. We use chairs and we don't use chairs. Here we're not. You can see we're just crush them. So we pick up as we go. Sorry about that, reaching for the camera, knocked it off the pedestal, tripod, and here we go. Emily will edit that out or leave it in, that's kind of funny, right? We're just cleaning up underneath there. That's okay, we'll keep going. Alright, give me a little tuck. Look for it moving down here. Okay, I only have a couple tap cons in this old mortar holding, so I'm not going to do any tapping or vibration in it. So far, so good, and all the weights on it.
one of the viewers was criticizing me for not hanging plastic and protecting the uh, property. What do you think? Maybe they're not as neat as we are. I'm not saying we don't get a splash or two on it, but we cleaned it up. Maybe that's why it's so crabby at the beginning of the week. Hard to say. I didn't go wet the high speed. Let's do that ahead a little bit, huh? Yeah. Um, Three quarters? Yeah. A little adjustment there, cutting in our border, making our border line right up with our pedestal, broken stone line. This is perfect. What a perfect day. Temperature, overcast, trees. Love it. There we go. Okay. So we'll do the same thing down below, border across the front and side. So it only stamp, you don't have to get tied up in there. It's not an exact match, but it's pretty close. So I have my heavy stone stamp. It's still really soft. Just a couple of pounds. Give it a quarter turn. That's that. Now we'll do this on the board. There it is, the new porch. Steps and porch. See you back here tomorrow. A couple of saw cuts and cleaning, coloring. Okay, Saturday morning, cleanup day. I got Dan pressure washing the driveway, getting our tire tracks off, a little bit of concrete, a little bit of dirt. We'll get their car moved. I'm sure they'll be out shortly now. Starting to make some noise. I'm gonna do two saw cuts right here. One at the base of these steps. And then one, this is just off center, but it's pretty close to center. Just missed that sill right down my joint, right through here. I'll get these saw cuts in, get this cleaned up. Get a good scrub. Got a final hint. Just about done cleaning up around here. This driveway was very dirty from all the trees as well as us. So we're using our Kalina Tan antiquing. If I don't do that in a video, everybody asks me, what did I use? So this is a real kind of a real dark brown. It doesn't look real dark here, but it does turn very dark brown sprinkle it in the can and I have about three quarters full of water they recommend one cup but I usually do a little bit more than that first prayer full you can use whatever you want Whatever you do, use all of this because it won't be any good next time you use it. Close this bag up, seal it up tight, 
and it'll last forever. Okay, I got a good position for you right here. Lots of pressure in the sprayer. Now this patio is going to stay damp for a long time uh, with all the shade under roof and that's good we want we want damp we don't want puddles we don't want standing water so with a push broom pull those back now you can see it's starting to settle out give it that two-tone look we're not done yet I don't know if I've ever talked about steps I just missed it on the face of the steps if you spray it on as heavy as you do everywhere else it just runs off and you actually see streaks in these so just dust these and maybe do two or three coats on those okay so as it's settling in there, we just help it with a push broom. You can use a soft bristle broom. This is medium. The reason I like to use a broom to follow it up, just in case when I'm spraying it you see spray marks you don't want to see a pattern so the push broom just helps with the possibility of uh, getting that it, it helps the it helps so that you don't ever see that it's looking really sharp okay let's get done up top here I'll let this go probably till tonight and I'll come back and get a coat of sealer on it. It's gonna take a long time for this to dry. Here we go, I'm gonna start putting the sealer. I'm gonna turn the camera over to the homeowner. She's gonna hold it and video this. Like I always say, this is my favorite part besides getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part. That's good. It looks wonderful. So it looks kind of dull right now. Yeah. And I put a little bit of attraction control in here so it's not slippery. Okay, okay. good. Ah. Mm. Comes alive. Ooh, ah. It comes alive. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> it comes alive. Mm hmm. Isn't that cool looking? That's yeah. really nice looking. And you see the texture more too. Yeah. Wow, mm. isn't that cool? Looking good. Okay, I'll close out this video. I just put everything back in the truck. I put a second coat of sealer on everything. There it is. Oh, I need a little touch of sealer right here. All right, I'll go take care of that right now. Be right back. Let's try this again. There it is. All done. And up here. All done. Bricklayer is going to come in, make the repair right there. I'm going to put the trim pieces. We got them all stored right there, right around these two posts. And also the bricklayers going to make some columns either just a long one offset l shape or put them back in the way they were but as we're talking they like the idea of leaving this open we'll just of course grade that down a little bit okay as always thanks for tuning in to conquer the hosses hope you like this video hit that like and subscribe tell your friends uh let's hit a hundred thousand Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Conquer with the Hossies. Here on site, uh, just getting the power buggies off. Not a busy road. There's just no parking here at Steven's house. So he's doing an addition off the back. 
he's finishing this addition up and then completing this house and this will be for sale if anybody's interested in it in about four years it's a real nice place there's a lake down here there's a uh, hundred acre sportsman's club behind them so that'll always be woods and trees and something really nice to look at so we're working for steve today probably for food any food coming today steve any what? food tell rachel to get on it Ooh. what do you want so he's got a little wing wall here drilled and pinned in just to help hold some of this hillside water back uh, this is going to be a one and a half car garage hey look who's back Elliot's back everybody was asking for you Elliot no time to talk I huh? just get working uh, so these ditch block uh, stop the plastic a little bit short and he wants concrete to go in there and fill all these up and we're going to fill up this first course of block and put uh, tie-down straps in them. Where, where are they at? Uh, box right there. Box of straps right and there. I have okay. Them marked on the outside. Okay. Uh, every crow pecker. I couldn't come in and flip them each side. Obviously, the returns too small. Okay. Um, so I have two here. I have two on this little wing pump out here, and then every three foot ten inches. Okay. That's what the engineering specifies. Uh, when you're three foot ten anchor bolts with the straps, three foot ten inches. What are anchor bolts? The every four foot. Um, I'm not sure. Is one stronger than the other? Not sure. That's okay. Just what I was told. Yeah, I was, I'm not. I'm yeah. curious about that. Okay. All right. So this is getting poured today. So you can see Steve rose raised the grade up here about a foot and a half on this wall so now we're putting a lot of pressure on his basement wall uh, so what he did we had this i-beam up at the garage and this is about an eight inch i-beam it is an eight inch i-beam <coughs> excuse me and it goes from the front of the garage to the back so it's just touching the corner and it's just touching uh, right there and it's actually away a little bit so we set that in there and that's just setting on the old sub base so when he brought his number three limestone and number two limestone in and just graded up against this beam that way it's keeping very little pressure on the top of this wall and now concrete is going to set on that beam so we thought of that as one way to not add any additional pressure to that wall. As well as this hillside is here, we're going to go ahead and pour this solid. So that if that, I mean a lot has to happen. That hillside has to push. He's got two feet of limestone with drainage. French drain and downspout going to daylight so there shouldn't be any water hydraulic pressure pushing on that uh, has to push all this sub base has to bow that beam so a lot has to go wrong to push on that wall standing up on the road all of the shoots on I don't like this bend so we're just I'll, I'll stay up here and help with traffic we're gonna nose him right here. Let's see if he hits the pad. Ah, uh, no good. Good or no good? Well, that didn't work. Not enough shoots, and I don't mind. I don't really like him sitting there. I should have walked up and looked at it closer he's only lived here three four five six years <laughs> yeah so Tone's gonna go spin around and pull him right in here he's gonna spin around right here all right 
I'll watch traffic if there is any so far so good okay, that worked out well he wiggled right in there we have one wire right up top might even make it under it I'll go on the other side and go see Right for shovel. Elliot, you got me that shovel this way, Elliot? I shouldn't buy it. Can you just grab me a shovel? Okay, filling all these up. Tony, get his chutes cleaned up, get him off of this road. Number two is here any minute. A little bit of dragging, didn't go too bad. All right, rods are up. Elliot, let's go ahead and put these sills on. I'll give you a hand with that. Steve has these all set up. Hole already drilled, ready for tap on. Gonna snug that. Good Elliot. Good Elliot. Yep. Okay. Alright. Let's get our two by ten on the face. Right here. One more here. Okay, there's no room for me down there. Here's what concrete looks like coming out of the truck. There's a corkscrew band that goes through it. When mixing, it spins the other way and you can see how that would suck the concrete in the truck. Discharge, just like a corkscrew, winds it right out. So that's how a cement truck works. Up here watching his cable line. Go through a hopper onto a chute, and you can rotate it back and forth wherever we need it. So we're going to back. We'll stop about a foot, two foot shy. Let the guys get caught up and then top it off. That way we don't wind up with a big pile of concrete here. It happens sometimes, but that's one way to try and avoid it. Then need a little pile up there to finish up that wall. We just finished up at Steve's house. While they're finishing that concrete, uh, Tommy started a project. Uh, I came over here to start this project. Nice parking pad, about 34 feet by 32 feet. We have a French drain running right through here. We're going to try not to disturb that. Maybe we'll just come right over top of it. We're going to do a parking pad right here. It'll help them back out of that door and go, as well as when they need the parking, they can come up here, put it in here, and then they can still use that garage door. So we're gonna go ahead and dig this all out. We're gonna save the Belgian block. We'll just put them up in the landscaping, and bring them back down. We just did one like that. Bring them down to the edge of the concrete when we're all done. Nice outline of the, the uh, concrete work. So most of our digging is up here. You can see this needs to go down about four. So we have nice fall on this. Should be a nice, nice project. Let's get digging. I brought the uh, 249 D3. Uh, I have a 259 
uh, was not available. One of the boys had that. So this is my machine for here today. We'll save some of this material. Uh, once I get the stone pushed off, we'll load that dirt and get it out of here. Uh, we pulled a string running 2%. This is our high side. Uh, we're about 25 feet out, maybe 28 feet out, 2% fall. And we just carried 1% cross slope. So this is our low. We have a French drain. If that French drain clogs, anything happens to it, our water is going to shed over and it's going to follow the drive this way. So everything is draining away from the house to the low side uh, i'm going to start cleaning up the middle that is how we set our forms um, how about right here uh, center of the garage we were supposed to be 32 32 is in about two feet so I look at these as if this were mine, how I would want it. This arcs around right here, and I'll turn the camera, and it lines right up with the edge of the driveway. If it were 32, now that comes in. Now we're clear over here. Now you're coming up the driveway, and you got to turn to get on the concrete. I didn't like that. So we just went ahead, opened this up about two feet. Merry Christmas. I, I hope they like it. I can justify why I did that, and I and it makes sense. So we'll go ahead and give that to them, and uh, make the driveway nice and flowable. A little bit bigger than I quoted, but it's not going to put us out of business, right, Elliot? Not. That's right. <laughs> you need paid this summer.